I'm using a few pieces of scrap wood and I've got walnut, poplar, and cherry and I've kind of mixed them together just to kind of see what the pattern was going to be like. I went ahead and cut them all at four inches in width and now it's time for gluing them up. After I've gotten all my pieces glued up together, I've just got my miter fence out and I'm just going to run it through to get a clean edge on this side and on this side. Yeah, so after using the table saw, I cut the top and this bottom side, and it, for some reason, wasn't cutting right. I don't have time to figure it out, and it kept on leaving these, uh, it, the blade or the miter fence isn't working. It's not straightened up for some reason. I, everything's reading that way, though. I think it's just loosening that groove, so it's leaving this little extra cut. So I'm returning to traditional methods and I've got it clamped up here and I'm just taking hand planes and I'm going to get this this edge right here flattened out. That's gone now though. I just got that all flattened out. So I'm going to switch over to this other side and I'm going to try to get all this down flattened out. It was a pretty big lip right here. It was probably an eighth of an inch or more that it was cut wrong. So I'm gonna get it flattened out and then get all the other sides squared up. All right, now we are done with these two sides right here. They're all squared up. And I mean, that's dead on. All right, this, the block width is four and a half inches wide. And I wanted two sections of it so that when my pencils get smaller, they don't tip over and fall to the very bottom. So I'll have one center section bar right there and each section is going to be one and a half inches wide. I might even have like pencils on this side and markers or something on this side. And by doing that, I just found the center point and just kind of uh, worked off of that. So now I've gotten my uh, one and a half inch mark right here. So now I'm just going to take the square Draw a line down, draw another line, and we'll go ahead and head over to the drill press to get these drilled. All right, now after I've gotten the holes drilled out, I've got to go ahead and chisel out the waste of the in, in between these two holes. And I'm just taking a marking gauge, or a marking knife, and going along these two edges of the holes and button the square up to it. And just drawing a line.
Thanks guys for joining me on this build. All I used was some scrap wood, used up some of the lumber that was just lit, laying around in the corner. It's really easy and I'm gonna be able to use it in the shop and I might even take it inside, who knows. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, and share it. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more woodworking and blacksmithing videos and we'll see you guys on the next one.